we're here at the 75 Chrome Shop Big Rig Truck Show and we found another big truck. Ironically, it is also named Goliath. We won't hold that against them, trying to steal our name. My Goliath is older, so it came first. Anyways, guys, this is a really cool truck and uh, we're gonna tell you a little bit about it. All right, Tim, tell us something about this giant truck you've got here behind you. All right, so uh, my brother has a tree service in Winter Springs, Florida, and uh, he's purchased similar trucks like this in the past. And some of them had, you know, a missing detail or the wheelbase was too long or too short or, you know, whatever it was. So in uh, 2020, um, even during the pandemic, he gave me the opportunity to build one of these. And we had been with two of them, but uh, this one was special because uh, we went and got the cat engine and it's a true glider kit. So it's got a six NZ uh, engine in it, uh, 18 speed, uh, 410 gear set, uh, heavy duty frame. And then it's got a uh, pal finger loader on the back for doing tree work. And this one in particular has a uh, saw on it. So you can pull up to a tree and cut it down if it's you know, declining or has to be removed. It's kind of a, just a one man band. That's very cool though. Yeah. Um, I had the truck built in Portland, Oregon. It was one of the last gliders to come off the assembly line in November 20. And then it went to Custom Truck in Coos Bay, Oregon. They put the engine and transmission together. And then I flew out there and actually drive it as a chassis. And uh, you know, drove pretty good. My first 18 speed. Uh, I got a, you know, a CDL Class A, but I've only driven 10 speeds and 8 speeds and whatnot. Um, and then from there we had it uh, shipped to Pittsburgh Power in Pennsylvania. And they put it on a chassis dyno to break the engine in for about two hours just to make sure that the ring set, uh, ring steel against the cylinder wall was appropriate. And then uh, had it hauled to um, Edgewood Welding in uh, Somerset, Pennsylvania. And they did the 75 yard bed, put the loader on, the full hydraulic system, the tag axle. And then uh, my brother and I um, went up there in 21 and drove it down for a weekend. And it was just a really good trip. And you know, the truck has plenty of power. Um, I recently had the truck uh, professionally tuned and uh, definitely picked up a lot of mid-range and low-end grunt. And uh, probably gonna drive like that for another year or two before maybe put a different turbocharger on it. So. It is a beautiful truck and uh, it's very, very clean. I know the type of work you're doing, it probably won't stay super clean for very long. Uh, how long has it been in service as of now? Uh, uh, maybe 14 months or so. Okay. Uh, it's got about 300 hours on the engine and about 3,000 miles, but it's all local work. And with the saw, it doesn't go out every day, probably about two, three times a week for a special job. But it's uh, basically only driven by myself, my brother, and one other guy that has a, he's a helicopter pilot. So we're all very careful what we do and uh, we try to keep it clean and you know, look after. They uh, remanufactured a CAT 6NZ engine. It's uh, around you know, the year 2000 or so. It's got a factory GT47 turbocharger with a, a wastegate on it. Um, usually it makes about 475 horsepower. You can get it bumped to 550 horsepower. Uh, I recently had this uh, tune and it makes uh, probably about 550 of the wheels and makes you know, 32 pounds of boost. It drives really well. Um, probably gets about five miles per gallon, I'd say, but you know, a truck like this, like, it's just how it goes. It's typical for a cab motor anyways, yeah. yeah. But the, uh, the the sound it makes and the grunt is just, it's, it's really a pleasure to drive. It's awesome. It's very classic looking.
spokes and a front and rear bar. I'm not sure if you saw that. I did. That really helped with like night jobs. Like I like that the Western Star lights up as well. And kind of a funny story. All right, Tim, I want to thank you for giving us a tour of your truck and showing us how it all works. Um, you have some social medias as well that you want to shout out. I know you said you used to work for Real Street Performance back in the days. Yeah, um, my Instagram handle is Tim RSB. I've got a lot of uh, car stuff on there. I have a sequential Evo that makes about a thousand of the tires. Uh, pretty fast car. And then I put some truck stuff on there every once in a while. And then uh, YouTube channel is just Tim M and uh, got some content on there too. All right guys, go check them out. Thank you.